Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Um, I'm just going to try and fit a, a safety feature to my Citroen Ami. We've all seen the crash in Monaco where the, the car overturned and uh, Tim Fountain and Mr. Boo interviewed the guy and got a big gash on his head and a, a hole in his hand. I, uh, I take this car to work every morning and I open the garage and in order to do so, I we have a, a bar that slides across the gate, stop the cars getting stolen. So I have to pull up there, open the lock, move the bar back, get back in the car, drive through, and then open the office up. Now, I have, I have one of these, which is brilliant. And I, I did a video about this, just in case you, you want to. Watch. But it, it's got all your, your keys on, like so. so when I get back in the car, rather than put it in back in my pocket, you'll see my jeans are all frayed from kind of putting my hands in my pockets and getting my keys out all the time. So I usually just stick it there. Unfortunately, when I, when I move, it sometimes slides back. So when I go to get it, I do that, lift my head up and bang my head on here. So I've got, I've got a constant bruise on the back of my head here. And that's, that there is quite... You know, it's it's quite sharp, really, and and heavy. And also, sometimes when I've been getting out, um, I've caught my head up here. I I, I know I, I shouldn't do, but you know, I've had it three months and I'm still doing it now. So I thought I thought it might be time to take action. So what I've done anyway, I've gone and bought myself a load of this uh, stuff, pipe insulation. Let's just see. Can you see that there or or there? So pipe insulation, and I'm going to fasten it over here it, it, as best as I can anyway, and then tie wrap it. I unfortunately I forgot my tie wraps. My tie wraps are at work, so I'm just going to fit this uh, as you would kind of normally, and uh, hopefully get it to meet in the middle. So I've already tried one piece, so that that's there, and it's been over my head. So if I just push that on there like like so you'll see it's not such a bad fit um i wish i hadn't left it on because i i prefer things to be i'm, I'm really like anal about things being symmetrical so i want that to meet in the middle so i'm going to take it off again and then join this this will be fun I would probably be better, in fact, I will be better doing it. Um, I'll be better doing it afterwards. So we'll get this in the middle. Done that on my keys again. I don't know about anybody else. When you get in, do you knock your handbrake cover off? Because I, I flipping do. So we'll get that in the middle. That's, that looks like it's... Now, now actually that is a worry because I've never noticed that before and you do there is a chance that this vehicle is going back because I think it's flexing now just up there oh gosh now I'm gonna ask somebody else to check their vehicle because that I had never noticed that before. Let's just video that. So it looks like, if you can see that, that could be standard finish, but I don't recall seeing that before. Looks like there's a, looks like the, the roof bar is kinked. And perhaps I shouldn't, oh, I may lay off doing the tie wraps. And just keep inspecting it. Yeah, tricky, tricky one that. Why would that be bent?
yeah that's uh, <laughs> that, that's worrying me now okay so we'll get that somewhere in the middle there's the mark and then fit it over from about there so if I cut that there it kind of fits nicely over there I just need to put a couple of indentations there so one one there careful I want to go out with as many fingers as I had when I come in okay so looks a bit of a dog's dinner that but should tear up nicely and then we'll go over to the other side. Is that the one? Oh, that was three, four, five. Yeah, that's the one. So. mark these again I'm just going to do it a bit further across actually off it better than and also th this works like a conduit for Looks like a conduit for the wiring because if you've got a a camera like I've got here so let's just get that nice and as neat as we can so hopefully that will hold it together yeah if you've got a, a dash cam 
I've had to run the wires and also I want a fuse box. And the, the thing with this is it's also fire retardant, I believe. So the wires there to the dash cam, you can see there, it's that actually, when I'm driving, it makes a, a tapping sound, which really gets on my nerves. But it, I'm only trying this. I will be putting a smaller dash cam in anyway, if I keep the vehicle. And uh, I'll be able to run the, the wires through the pipe insulation and hopefully make it look a little bit better. So now the best way, what do I need to do now? Now I've got some thinner ones here. So the thinner one is so big. Oops. And split it open. You have to be careful which ones you get because some of them don't split, I think. So that's that. We'd have that up there like so. And then... enough so yeah that's that and then the waste not want not we'll use this off cut again um, although is that going to go right the way along I wonder would it go it probably would Sure, it'll took took down the back. Will I? Let's just see. So yeah, the Ami. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. It's absolutely perfect for me for going to work, even to the point of get being able to get out of the traffic in the morning because I can pull up but in our. Um, it's not exactly a driveway, but it's the entrance to the garage. The pavement there, pavement there, the entrance to the garage and I can get off the road. The road's very busy. There's usually a line of parked cars on the other side. So it creates a lot of uh, angry people, sadly. Uh, no, nobody can wait at all. And uh, you know, it, consequently, the, the, the beep in me, I'm getting mad. They're getting mad, which is no good for anybody. And uh, in this, I can pull off the road. And even when I've pulled off the road, I don't annoy the pedestrians because there's a load of mothers and fathers taking their kids to work. And uh, taking the kids to school, sorry. And consequently, they're on bikes, scooters and so on. And I, and I, I don't want to get in their way either. So it looks like I'm going to have to cut this at the back. To go past that. Now this isn't going to win any NCAP awards, but I can assure you a couple of times when I've banged my head on here, <laughs> there's been a lot of cursing. So even if I can stop putting as much money in the swear box, that'll be something. There you go, that's, that's gone right the way along and clipped on. 
and I will be able to put that wire inside. In fact, I'll just tuck that wire inside now while I'm doing it. That's perfect. So I can't stand rattles to start off with. Actually, now I've got this stuff from Screw Fix. I probably need to just do a, a bit of bit of trimming along here. That needs trimming so it goes further round, and so does that. That's where the wires are. But it's it's actually. So what's that one to? Just don't think I'm going to need it across there. But let's just. I mean, normally when I do jobs, I'm kind of meticulous, so I, I may well have to do this again. But as you can see, in, in a few minutes, I've pretty much got, you know, that's, it'll still hurt if you roll it, but it's not going to roll, but it's not going to hurt as much. Let's see, where did we go? Got this piece, that piece there, so up to there and there. That's the tricky bit when I'm actually cutting it for here. So fortunately, it's quick enough. Ow! Ow! <laughs> I did. I just hit my head on the one bit I've not put rubber on. There you go, that's that. Not not a bad job. And then we have to uh, do this long one again. So we'll get that up there. Do this again. make it easier if they weren't at an angle but they are so
There we go. So I'm going to hold this on with tie wraps because the last thing you want is it coming down when you, you're trying to drive. And as I say, just here, it, that, bits like that could do with cutting out. And then just another little bit here. Oh, let's see. I think that's. Uh, just get this done quickly because I think my neighbour will probably come and talk to me. But there, there you go. That that's it. I mean that's that's. I, I would I would say it's pretty perfect. Um, looks like a an old a, a rollover bar in a in an old rally car but I am going to have to inspect that because it does look like it's it may be kinked that needs also cut in here so as it goes up further I'll just mark it If I can snip it, I don't know whether I can. Actually, I'll tell you what I can do. Now, I haven't got a good record with this knife, sadly. Um, I was building a <laughs> Barbie house <laughs> for my girlfriend's little girl, this is a long time ago, and uh, they were very difficult, the parts were very difficult to break off. <laughs> so <clears throat> I, I got this and I, I started cutting them and then I did that and cut my thumb and it started bleeding profusely. And of course I tried to pretend because there was a, there was a six year old little girl watching me. I tried to pretend it wasn't hurting. And when I looked at her, she was shaking her head in disbelief. You'd not just done that with a sharp knife, have you? So this time I'll have it on camera if I do anything. But sharp knife and then trim up. There we go. So that, that'll fit better too. So that's it. There you go. A rally prepared Citroen Ami. I'm not suggesting that you roll over in it to test it, but ne next step, I'll just put I'll just put some tie wraps on it, just keep it in place. So I've got a bag of these tie wraps as well. We've uh, changed location here. Come back to work to get my tie wraps and a coffee. Hopefully these will be big enough. So let's just see where can we get one across. I'm going to put that round the back there so I don't end up banging my head on that too. Perfect size. So I'm just get that round the back. Snip it off. And another one. This might be a bit more difficult. Could could have done with longer tie wraps to be fair. But these are these are neater. That one there. Again, snip.
I'm gonna need a few of these. So. Can I get any further around here? That's as far down as that will go. That's sealed. That's unfortunate. Just managed to get through there, I think. Yes. That's it. And pull it down. Don't want it splaying out at the bottom. Oops. So as you can see, that, that's coming along quite nice. Can I get through there? No. That's... So... I'm going to do another one a bit further up here, right to the end. Tire wraps could definitely have done with being a bit longer. Try and get them a bit uniform. open this door as well otherwise so that, that's amazing that one pulls in and that one's pulling in as well so I've, I've somehow managed to just park it where there you go always a solution for everything Usually, so whereabouts is that? I wonder if we can just get one over there. Yeah, so, get one there. So I think you get the idea. Just 
open there. I can see myself just getting banging myself in the head with that. So turn that further round. There's one about here too. Try and get one through here. That was a tricky bit before. So I'll put it there and then slide down as far as I can get it. There, done it. Doesn't really want to move. I'll we'll have to persuade it a little bit. I think that's not necessarily looking good, but it won't hurt as much. So I'm going to continue to do the front bit and secure them. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.